I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 89. Can you believe it? Man, it's been a year, hasn't it? Hope you guys have enjoyed these episodes uh, always look to give you as much value as possible and uh, just excited to be able to share with you all on a regular basis. And so uh, I normally say this at the be- at the end, but I'll say it at the beginning, if you want to engage with us, um, we do have a Facebook group. So definitely tune into that. Um, it's at the way to freedom dot info. That's the way to freedom dot info. And i um, looking forward to seeing you guys there. And we're going to have a lot of engagement um, and just just talking about the different episodes that you've enjoyed. And so today we're talking about knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And, uh, you know, what's interesting is the Bible says, talks about knowledge 162 times, talks about understanding 91 times, and it talks about wisdom 367 times. So it's a pretty important thing, right? And, you know, th- there's lots of different scriptures, um, you know, Proverbs 4, 7 says, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. And I like where it says it's a principal thing, because a principal is, to me, it's kind of like a philosophy. You know, the definition that I have for philosophy is everything you know, how you hold it, and how it affects what you do. Right. So like if if I live by certain principles, then when this happens, I know to do that. And when this happens, I know to do that or I know to think this way because I have these principles. I know to act a certain way because of certain principles that I hold. Right. And so um, I love that because when you it says wisdom is the principal thing. So let's talk about wisdom. But before we talk about wisdom, we got to talk about knowledge. It starts there, right? So so knowledge is the information that you gather. And we talk on this podcast a lot about seeking information. Um, you know, we live in an information age. We talk about listening to podcasts, reading books, and uh, going to seminars, and, and surrounding yourself around uh, quality people. So we talk about all that stuff, and that's where you start to get the knowledge. That's where you get the information, right? That's where you take the notes. Um, and, and hopefully you take notes. That's another thing. I always trust a short pencil over a long-term memory, so, right? So, or, so it just makes sense to, like for me, you know, I, I'm one of those people, I take notes on the notes, right? I take notes on everything because um, I never know when I'm going to have to revisit those notes. So that's the first part is knowledge where you start getting information. But then you need to get understanding because it's one thing to gather information, but it's another thing to start to comprehend the information that you gather, right? That's kind of like the beta stage. That's the testing stage. That's where you start to put it all together and test things out and say, okay, I learned this. So let me start doing this, right? Like like you guys remember when I talked about, um, you know, how I was starting to endeavor in some um some learning stock options and things like that and and that's what i did i I studied i took some courses i I gathered the information but then i started to get some experience and what i started to to test the things that i was learning and i'm still kind of in that phase right i i would say i'm 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 in the understanding phase i understand it um i'm working on getting to the phase of complete wisdom 
but uh but but even with that i've i've done well <laughs> even with the understanding that i've learned so it's exciting and, and you can do this for anything i mean whether you're looking to learn health and i do this for everything whether you my goal is to study and just become well rounded right to know a lot of things about a lot of things if that makes sense um to, to have wisdom right because the whole point is to grow and to get better and, and and by the way that's the next step wisdom that is the ability to use the knowledge right so you got this knowledge you gathered the information you beta tested it right and now you become experienced because you've applied that's where you basically apply wisdom is where you apply what you've learned and you know what to do, but you also know what not to do. You know when to do it too. Key, that's very key. Is some people know what to do, but they don't do what they know, right? And then sometimes you can know know what to do, and you can do what you know, but you got to do it at the right time. Oh my gosh, right? And so, um, you know, the thing I love about wisdom is that you know the Father has even said in the Word that if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of god um, that giveth all men liberally without reproach and it will be given unto you right and so that that comes in james 1 5 and by the way james was uh yeshua's brother right so um yeah obviously that's something we want to take note of is that look we, we don't have to just like if, if, if we want truly want wisdom, you know, it said ask, seek, and knock. Right? If we want wisdom, they say you you um, have not because you ask not. So all we have to do is ask, right? And we will get the wisdom, and the wisdom will come to us. Uh, and that's the thing that's so awesome is that you know we can get knowledge and we can get understanding, but man, I believe true wisdom comes from the Holy Spirit, and that's the thing that's really cool is that. We can know things that we never even know that we've never even sought after because of the Holy Spirit. Like the Holy Spirit could say, "Hey, go here right now," and you're like, um, "Okay," <laughs> and you don't even know why you're going, but you're just following that voice, and it's right on time. It's exactly what you needed. It's everything that you needed, and it's just so powerful. So this is this is some really really cool stuff when you when you're talking about knowledge understanding and wisdom and i'll be honest you know as i read the bible over the years i always got them all mixed up i always thought they were all the same thing because they sound they seem so similar right i mean is it knowledge wisdom <laughs> right like but, but it, no it's it's different and and i always wondered in the bible why it separated it like it, it, it said get knowledge understanding and wisdom it would say that very often especially in proverbs one of the things i like to do is I like to read a proverb a day. So, like for instance, um, if it's the if it's the ninth of the month or the eighth of the uh, the eighth of the month, I, I'll read the whole book of Proverbs eight, right? Because uh, because sometimes you know I just keep it real. Sometimes you you, you you I don't know. This is just me. Maybe it's not you, but I've had times where I'm like, okay, I want to study my word, but what do I study? Right. Where do I start? Like, you know, where do I go? And so an easy way for me to just have, I mean, of course, I have my devotion that I'll read, um, but also um, an easy way for me to 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 get in my word is 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 Proverbs, because, look, it, the the speaking of code freedom, the isn't it interesting that the wisest man who ever lived is also the richest man who ever lived. Right. Solomon. So hint, hint, uh, if we're going to be. Uh, avid fans of cold freedom, we should study the Proverbs. We should study Ecclesiastes. We should study everything that Solomon wrote um, because he had infinite, well, not, I won't say infinite, but he had great understanding. He had great wisdom because uh, the Father gave him that wisdom, right? Um, it was a gift. And so um, so that's just something that I like to do is I like to uh, study a proverb a day um, as part of my reading and my studying, right? And uh, it's it's so powerful because once you really like hone in on those principles that are in Proverbs, um, you'll be wealthy. You'll be a very wealthy person because you've learned about people, you've learned about finances, you've learned about, um, you know, the, surrounding yourself around the right people. I mean, it talks about all of that in Proverbs. So 
um, you become a very well-rounded person um, and you become a solid person from those Proverbs. So um, look, if you don't have a Bible, hey, there's lots of Bible apps. Uh, I know this is interesting that there's some countries where they have to hide to read the Bible. And, um, you know, here where I live in the U.S., um, we can we can look at the Bible freely. So, you know, I hope that you don't take it for granted that we have the freedom and the liberty to study the word and and understand it and get that wisdom. So, listen, let's get all and all that getting. Let's continue to get understanding, but let's also get that wisdom so we can use that knowledge and apply it because we, we've, we've done the experience and we've tested it. We've gone back and forth. Uh, you know, there's been other episodes where I talked about the four levels of knowledge, right? Where you learn it, uh, learn knowledge. Um, then you have activity knowledge where you actually apply it. Um, you have modeling knowledge and you have teaching knowledge. So we talked about those and, and, and under knowledge too, you might even also add, you know, the who, what, why, where, when, like, like learning everything there is to know about a certain thing. Right. And then you start to pull in the comprehension and then you start to test it out and then experience it. And then you have complete and full understanding. Well, now, hey, look, you have the ability to teach it. And, and by the way, I always look for ways to teach because that way I'm, I have true comprehension. I have true understanding if I can teach it. If you can't teach it, you don't know it. Right. And so I'm always looking to teach teach stuff that I know. Now, sometimes people don't want to know what I know. <laughs> and I, I get that. Um, you know, it's funny. I was talking to um, I won't I won't mention their name, but I was talking to someone yesterday about the stock options and I could tell they were disinterested. Uh, you, 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 if you pick up tones and things like that and if you study people, you understand people. But I mean, that's OK. Um, the, the cool thing about this is that you can continue to learn and have a vast array, array of knowledge on lots of different subjects, and you can become an expert in certain things. And hey, once you become an expert, people will pay you because you have the value. You know things that other people don't know. You understand things that others don't know, and you know you have wisdom in things that other people don't know. And listen, um, I'll just end with this. I was on a mastermind call the other day with some of my um mentors you know who are who are millionaires and um one of the things he said is that uh, uh there's a guy he's a billionaire i don't know his name but he pays tony robbins um he pays tony robbins i think like a million dollars a year to be like an accountability i think i might have mentioned this on the last episode too possibly um but he paid him a million dollars and um to check in and to 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 make sure that he's on point and he's doing what he needs to do, and 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 that may seem like a lot to people, but uh, that's why that gentleman is a billionaire is because they um, they understand that you need accountability, you need someone to bounce things off of, you need somebody to hold you accountable because otherwise you just do whatever and you don't do what you really need to do, right? So that's another tw quick tip. I would encourage you to have some kind of an accountability partner. Maybe have an accountability partner that's going to commit to reading with you and you talk about what you're reading together. Or, hey, check this out. You could have an accountability partner that listens to these podcasts and you talk about the podcast with that person. How cool would that be? <laughs> Plug, right? Anyway, um, but but my point is um, it's important. And look, you know, if, 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 I mean, I know, and by the way, if he doesn't check in with uh, with Tony Robbins in a certain period of time that he's supposed to every single day or every week or whatever, however their arrangement is, then the deal is off, right? And so, you know, I just think that's powerful because um, that means that Tony Robbins is in a place where he has some wisdom and understanding, and now he's being compensated for that value that he has where he can motivate and inspire um, and push, right? And so that's that's all we're saying here is that your gift will make room for you. We talked about that on the last episode. Is that when you when you really sell out to to what you're called to do, um, the, the the finances will chase you down because you will create an unshakable amount of value that people will seek out and they will need. So listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, episode eighty nine. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take care. Take charge.
Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.